are likely to see maybe a couple questions about on the AP exam is what combination of resources do you use? So this is what we're going to play into. So, first thing is the least cost rule. So again, minimize your cost. That's all we're talking about here. what you're going to see most of the time in these questions. You're not like trading land for entrepreneurship um, because that's not very realistic in terms of what most businesses actually face. What you're going to have to do is look at cost of one versus cost of the other in terms of, you know, what that's actually generating in terms of money, what is their marginal product. So, what we want to look at Marginal product of labor divided by its price, just use L for labor, and we want to equate that with the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital. versus the other. Now how do you figure out which is which? Let's say for example that this is the case. So that in this equation your marginal product of labor divided by price is higher than capital. That says that labor essentially is cheaper. So in this equation, what we would want to do is employ more labor. So what you would want to make in this case is a decision to the minimizing cost part of what the firm wants to achieve. So we want to minimize cost. The other part, remember, is to maximize profit. So we want the least cost combination that is the profit maximizing combination.
Minimize cost, maximize profit. To achieve a balance in step two, we're going back to the idea of the marginal revenue product, talking about labor and capital. So what we want, marginal revenue product of labor divided by the price of labor equal to the marginal revenue product of capital divided by the price of capital. So here we're looking at the difference between what the business spends on the resource and what it makes from the output. And again, if these two things are out of whack, then that tells us that we are not making as much money as we could. If one is higher, let's say, for example, we are in this situation. If the marginal revenue product of labor is higher than the marginal revenue product of capital, then that says it's more profitable for us to keep increasing this one. You don't just want a proportional answer. You want the same answer. So, in other words, you don't want to go here of marginal revenue product of labor divided by its price to equal six. And the marginal revenue product divided by price for capital to equal six. You don't want them to be equal that way. You want to continue employing both resources until both sides are in fact equal to one. And at that point you would know that you've achieved the right balance in terms of the money you can make out of employing both those resources. So again, minimize your cost, maximize your profit. Those are the two goals of the business in terms of the hiring decisions that they make for the resources that they utilize.